Yes. You guys want to play sardines? Yeah. Hey, yeah. Four, three, two, one. Lift off. We have a lift off. I'm Ricky. I'm Jamie. And it's Christmas. We are celebrating the birth of Jesus and the good news that he brought to earth. Jesus was the start of something better. And God wants a better life to be within reach. So God sent his son as an invitation for everyone. Don't miss this. <laughs> for this is how God loved the world. He gave his one and only son so that everyone who believes in him will not perish, but have eternal life. Let's take a closer look at these words that you've probably heard before. I mean, it's basically the most quoted verse of the Bible. See, in one short verse, this is what we learn, how God loves us and how we can respond. God loves by giving and we get to accept what he gives. We get to believe. Also in another book of the Bible, 1 John, it says that God is love. So for this is how love loved the world, that love gave his one and only son. Yeah, I know. It's so deep that I can't even wrap my mind around it, but God is love, so much love. This verse tells us how he demonstrated that love. How? Yes, by giving, but not just giving any old thing. He allowed his son Jesus to die. He loved us so much that he let that happen. God let Jesus die for us. These words are describing the plan that God had to rescue us from our sin. See, some translations say everlasting life, but at the end of it, it's all simply just the grandest invitation to us for us to engage in a new life. It's an invitation and you get to RSVP. You get to let God know if you're coming to the everlasting party or not. The life of Jesus was God showing us that he liked to get up close and personal. And what better way to demonstrate that than with a little game called sardines? Tanya, as a game master, would you like to do the honors and explain the rules? I would love to. Yay. Sardines is reverse hide and seek. One person gets five minutes to hide. Then everyone else searches for that hidden person. When you find the hidden person, you quietly hide with them in their hiding spot. Packed in like sardines. Woo! <laughs> the last person to find the rest of the group is the not winner and has to eat a sardine candy cane. Can we make it a little bit more interesting? Oh, of course we can, Ricky. Okay, how about between Jamie and me, whoever takes less time to find also has to eat a sardine candy cane. Ooh, I like those steaks. Stay within the boundaries. Don't go outside. Rock, paper, scissors, just you hide first. Okay, rock, rock paper, paper, scissors, scissors shoot. shoot. Yeah! Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be the best hiding spot you've ever seen. I found this spot. It's an itty bitty door. And there's enough room for everyone to be in here, but it just, it's just a little hidden crawl space. Bye. Ready. Yeah, let's find him! Ready or not, Ricky, here comes Judo Bob. In the lead because I have karate legs. Let's go find Ricky. He's going. He's just running. He's running. <laughs> All right, I'm headed outside. Okay. Oh, I didn't think about some of these spots. Ricky. It's not in here either. I don't want to eat that sardine candy cane. You go first. We're here in the nursing mother's room. <laughs> uh oh. Hey! I hear voices. I think he's in there. Is he in there? Here we go. So he's probably not backstage. So we're gonna cross that off our list. Okay, all right. Let's see if he's in here. There's so many 
many doors? There's so many doors. I hear stuff going on. It's somewhere. Ricky, you under there? Nope. Oh, oh. Oh. oh look, chairs stacked. Just like I know how Ricky likes to stack chairs and hide in them. Here we go. <laughs> hey, I'm getting a little scared. It's, thank you, okay. Uh, just jump, or what's, what's the, uh. Okay, okay. You right, bud? <laughs> yes, yes. That locked. This is closet. Pop quiz, quiz man. I found him. Okay. <sighs> Judo Pop is right behind me. Oh my gosh. Look at this. This is super cool. Oh, I can practice my roundhouse. Oh, oh Kelsey, there are snakes back here. I've been in for sure there are snakes. What even is this? Are you the first one? I want to see Yeah, because we didn't have room to change the order. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Close for no donuts. Till I found the donuts. Here we go. Here we go. Ricky J. Lucho, are you in here? Mm -mm. No, nothing. He's through the skinny door. Did we find him? Turbo speed. Oh, people are running. People are running. Why are we running? Why are we running? Where's my friend? So where did you go? There's so many doors. There's so many doors. We're closer than ever. How many are left? Look, I've already been in this room. The door's locked. I've already been Ricky, in this room. Ricky, if you're an you you'll tell me if you're near my voice. I keep hearing noises. Where are you, Ricky? There's a secret list. <gasps> Where is everyone? I will find you. Is Juno behind you? We don't have to Ziggy Zag. Found you! Yay! Jamie found me first. I did. And then Judo Bob found me 30 minutes later. <laughs> One of my favorite Christmas memories happened when I was in sixth grade. You see, I had bought my dad a brand new bottle of cologne because that is what he loved. And if you don't know what cologne is, it's like perfume and makes you smell good. You know what I'm talking about. I bought him this brand new bottle of cologne. Christmas morning, we wake up and what you have to know is that in the middle of my living room sat a perfect square glass table. It was my dad's favorite piece of furniture. When he opened up his cologne, he popped it out of the package to try it out and it went flying across the room, hit the glass table and the glass table perfectly split in half. The best part? was that nothing was wrong with the glass bottle of cologne, just the broken table. My dad and I still laugh about that memory to this day. But Christmas isn't just about memories. It's about celebrating the birth of Jesus. What we learn is that God is with us. And what does that mean? It means that we can have a relationship with God. We can talk to him like he's our friend. All of this is possible because of one incredible event, the birth of Jesus. His son was an invitation to a better life. Not just a gift of cologne, but the gift of the love of the Father. We can truly know God and know love because of what Jesus has done for us. Okay, it's round two. It is my turn. Keep going. Go, Jimmy, go! Okay, so we could go underneath the stage. There's a lot of room but I don't know, I don't want anybody to get hurt. Okay, let's try the other side of the church. We'll go this way, so maybe they can't see us. Bells, jingle, bells, jingle all the way. Okay, it maybe looks like people have looked here, but we'll see, I guess. I'm in my spot. <laughs> 
ready, set, Sandu. She's either in the jumpiest place to scare from or the scariest place to jump from. <laughs> Ready or not, oh. Come on, come on, Christmas trees. Yeah. Like stranger things? Oh, Jamie would go up there. Going up the ladder. Bet you, Jamie would be someone who would climb up a precarious ladder just like this. Not in the upside down room. Do <sighs> you think she went up there? I don't remember that being open. Okay. Y'all, looks like I'm gonna be eating a sardine candy cane. <sighs> Jamie? Jamie? I think she found me. Got it. You just had to pick this spot. I'm gonna get right here. Oh, boy. <laughs> Quiz man, do you know where Jamie is? Okay. I have checked all of these rooms. I'm gonna check the kitchen. I'm crossing out this room. I'm done. Uh, where am I? Oh, help me. Oh, I'm good. <laughs> uh, Jamie, you in here? No. Oh, but maybe some pizza is. Yes, perfectly aged pizza. That looks very mm. old. Do not eat that. Jamie! Nope. This is day 357 and the kitchen storage. Oh, hi. I knew this would be a challenge, but this is tough. Is that pizza? Yeah. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Quiz hands here, too. Oh. <laughs> Found you guys. Uh oh. Jackpot. <laughs> Think small. <laughs> Whoa. Guys, what is this? I thought I've already checked these rooms. <laughs> I thought y'all were with her. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just got really excited because I think I found everyone. One, two, three, cheese. Yay! Cheese. Oh no. I think I'm one of the last ones. I got it. This rack's about to break. <laughs> it's in my bag. Racks don't break unless Judo Bob breaks them. Well, well, well. What have we here? Ah, Ricky found us. Ricky found us. We might have won, but I might lose to heat stroke. <laughs> is Judo Bob back here yet? Yeah, oh, he yeah. sure is. Okay. Judo Bob is back here. Thank you. <laughs> Judo Bob doesn't lose twice, he wins once. <laughs> I bet it's so obvious. How do you hide 10 people in one spot? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I've checked every one of these rooms a dozen times. I haven't hey. seen anything. Hey, here. Hey, Chef. Hi. Hi, man. Welcome. Mm -hmm. Is this very obvious? I've checked here. There's no way. I checked in here, Kate. No. Where? <laughs> Back here. Back oh, here. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not allowed. Who's left? No! Scripture is ridiculously clear when it comes to the love of God. John 3.16 says this, for God so loved. Love is not just something that he does, it's who he is. For God so loved the world that what did he do? He gave his one and only son that whosoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. What did God do? How much does he love us? God loves us so much. God loves you so much that he took your misery. He took your suffering so seriously that he was willing to let his son take it. Why? because God knew something better was coming. He knew something better was coming. He knew that it takes a death to have a resurrection. He knew that sometimes it takes a hurt to have a healing. Sometimes it takes a loss to overcome the loss and find victory. 
sometimes it's out of bondage that you step in and find freedom. He knew that even out of the darkness, He is so good and so powerful and so present that He can bring good even out of the bad. That's how good our God is. He knows in your life something better is coming. What is that something better? It's a better life within reach. It's a full life with God. God doesn't want to be separated from us. He wants to be here, close. But God is so holy that sin separates us from Him. So God moved sin out of the way. Jesus lived a perfect sinless life and died a death that was a sacrifice for you and for me. Jesus paid the price for our sins and God raised him from the dead. All of this because this rescue mission brought us closer to God within reach. We can know full life because of the life of Jesus. And through the birth of Jesus, we recognize that God is not unresponsive. God is close and he is ready to respond to our needs. So we follow his lead. We trust that he has got our back. We're gonna walk with him and allow him to teach us to live a life that matters. God is not far. Our close God knows that a better life is within reach. <laughs> Sardine candy canes. <clears throat> the round one, not winner. Judo bomb! Oh, oh, judo there bomb. you go, sir. <laughs> There's your candy cane. Okay, ah, round two, not winner. Whitney! Oh, poor Whitney. Oh, yes. All right, this was super close. Like, I'm uh, saying, like, um, who did we find the quickest? <laughs> yeah. Jamie! Big bite, big bite. That was bad. Yeah. yeah. Wait, are you just, are you just eating it? Hey. I brought my own. Yeah, it tastes like fish, for sure. I'm well, sure Bob just got her food. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Loopsters. We had so much fun with you guys this year. We cannot wait to see what fun new challenges next year has for us. This Christmas, remember that God is close. His life and love are within reach. God is with us. Everywhere we go. Merry Christmas and... Enjoy, enjoy the ride! ride! Anybody want to try the... <coughs> no, no, starting... No.